Windsurfing or sailboarding is a water sport combining elements of surfing and sailing. And I'm told that you're never too young or too old to give it a go. Hi, Jersey. Hi, Nat. Now, Jersey, I should warn you that I have never actually windsurfed before. What do I need to know before I get started? Okay, so lots of people haven't windsurfed before and it's a very easy sport to pick up. What you need to know is there's two parts of the elements of making up a windsurfing uh, rig. One would be the sail, the other part's the board. And put those two together, put you on a board, I'm sure you'll find out. And I'm a windsurfer. That's it. Okay, now there looks, looks to be lots of different windsurfing sails around. Why is that? Yeah, there's basically one for every different person in terms of style as well as size of the sailor. So you've got very small rigs, you know, uh, that range from kids as young as the age is five with that rig just over there. And there's, there's rigs for, for very heavy sailors as much as 150 kilograms. This sport is all about knowing and understanding the wind, where it's coming from and where it's going. I mean, there's different ways that you can tell which way the wind's going. For instance, I've got this flag over here, and the wind's blowing across the flag, which means the wind's actually going in this direction, so it's coming offshore. Other ways we can tell where the wind's coming from is the way the water's rippling across or the boats are pointing into the wind as well. So knowing where the wind's coming from, we've got to try to keep our back to the wind at all times, and then we can actually start, start sailing. Dante, you're only nine years old. How long have you been windsurfing? Probably one and a half years. That's not very long. You're already so good. And what do you love about the sport? Well, I saw my dad do it and it looked really fun, so I decided to do it and I liked it. I said, it looks like I'm flying across the water. It actually does look like that. I saw you from a distance look like you had wings. OK, now I have just learned how to stand on the surfboard and hold up the sail. I heard that jiving and tacking is pretty important. Can you tell me about that? Jiving is when you put the back of the sail to the front. And opposite is tacking. Which, is tacking, which you put the back of the sail to the front, the back. To the back. OK, so the idea of jiving and tacking is to turn? Yeah. All right, well, I really need to see how it's done from an expert. Do you think you could show me? Yeah. Let's give it a go. So you are a jibing and tacking superstar. Now, I noticed this little hook here. What's that all about? Well, when there's heaps of winds, you hook in so you don't really fall off the board and you're attached to the board. OK, show me how that's done. You hook in over here, do you? Yeah. Just yeah. like... That's it. Oh, how cool. So you can travel really quickly. You're already taken yeah. off. OK, well, I'm pretty impressed at your windsurfing today. What are your ambitions as far as windsurfing goes? To be a professional, probably. You would like to be a professional windsurfer one day? Yeah. Awesome. Well, you're going the right way. Show me how it's done again. Of course, once you've mastered the basic manoeuvres and skills, like any sport, then it's just a matter of practice makes perfect. All right, so how long would it take to become a really good windsurfer like the professionals we see? It all really depends what you want to get out of it. I mean, a lot of people are quite happy just to have, you know, a, a sail around, you know, in summer when it's a nice warm breeze about and it doesn't have to be any sort of extreme conditions. Other people always want to push themselves and they want to, you know, do wave sailing and all sorts of things. So, you know, it could take you, you know, a couple of months just to get the basics and just enjoy windsurfing or it could take you a whole lifetime to aspire to some of the greats. I think I definitely need a bit more practice. I love my job. <laughs>